we invited the Chief Delivery Officer of Mask, Henriette Halbert Thyssen, to a short conversation to explore what lands with her when listening to Roger's talk. Welcome, Henriette. You've been a leader for more than 20 years, and I know that you also just saw the Roger Martin video on creating strategy and making choices in a hyper-political world. And I'm super curious to hear what lands with you watching that. Yeah, I, th I absolutely think the, the Roger is hitting on a number of key points. Uh, let, let me start by saying I was amazing timing of his article in terms of all that is happening in the world and, and happened just after it was uh, published in the HBR. So two thoughts I had uh, looking at the video. I think first of all, uh, the whole notion of strategy and strategy being more static versus more dynamic. And in my view, we need to realize that strategy today is not how we used to learn it in business schools or, <laughs> or by consultants, in the sense that, uh, that I, I, I do firmly believe in, in the point of having a strategy and planting a flag, but I also think we need to have more flexibility in how to get there and also mm. be comfortable that we will not know all the answers now in terms of how are we going to get there. So there is just something about the world uh, today and how things evolve that we need to allow ourselves to be comfortable with more ambiguity. And that there may be different roads to travel and we may also have to course correct as we are progressing. Yeah. And how do you experience an organization reacts to when you sort of cascade that type yeah. of ambiguity down? Because we've also taught in a lot of organizations, at least, our middle mm. managers and employees that, you know, this is the direction, here is the five-year plan, yeah. this is exactly what's expected mm. of you. So what happens? What's your experience? Yes. So I do think it's a challenge. Um, overall, I firmly believe in a lot of a strategic success is in execution. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely important also that you can get an organization together around what is the direction, how do we move, how do we execute. But I do feel at times that what I have been struggling with a bit is that there is this organizational ask or desire to be super clear on what is it we're supposed to do and just, you know, this is the plan. And when you then say, I may not know the full plan, but I know these are the next things, we, this is what we need to do the next year. Mm -hmm. I sense that there is some discomfort. So. Clearly a task there, one of the things I'm working uh, on and, and with is this how to be comfortable in this about moving forward and getting the organization to be comfortable in how to move forward even when there are a number of unknowns or things could change and so on. The, the, the last thing I wanted to comment on Roger's video is um, primarily triggered by the Bud Light uh, example he, he put in there. It at least reminded me of the importance of both personal values and company values and how you need to be quite clear on what are those values. As I do think in this hyper-political world, we are asked as companies to go over and beyond. It's not enough to just follow legislation. Mm. I'm not sure whether I fully agree with Roger because you need to be also authentic. Mm. Who are you as a company? So you also really need to be careful that you are not running too much after what may different groups think. So I think, is it perhaps more about being very clear on what you think? What are your values? How do you believe in acting? And then being authentic around that. But do you see that there is a way for making values a both end question? At least I think that where you really need the values is when there's no easy answer. Yes. Um, because if it's the easy, the easy ones, then we can all handle that pretty quickly. So I, I do think the values, if you have, have really have this value-based leadership or in a company with strong values, I think that's, they need to guide you when decisions become really difficult and tough. And there may be more angles to look at it, and, and that's where you have to go through and say, okay, you can look at it this way or the other way. Maybe, and hopefully there can be solutions where it's not the either or, but indeed the both and, and how to stand by your values also in difficult times is going to be even more important in the future. So making choices and creating strategy in a hyper-political world really calls for authentic leadership. Yeah.